just another day of Chris has the worst fucking luck in the world. Um, today, I was working overtime at work. First time, by the way, all week. I was excited for the stream today, so I really, I'm, I'm still eating supper. That's how, like, I'm, I, was, I was on the plate. I left kind of late. I didn't start. I started five minutes late, but whatever. Close close off. That was that gross. Yes. Um, how do I get a cat hair in my mouth? Ugh. Anyways. Be the food? No. Hi, how's it going? That stuff looks healthy. It is veggies. And chicken. Hippo, hey. Um, yeah, so I work out half hour overtime, which is normally fine. Um, but I had to, my car's dead. <laughs> this happens every winter except last winter. Last winter, I gave you my heart, and the very next day, you gave it away. It was unbelievable. I tried to start. Uh, my car battery died um, a few days ago, and I have to have I have to use my car tomorrow. I have to be somewhere for 3:30 p.m. And so, by the way, short stream tomorrow because of that. So my car is dead. I bought those car four or five years ago now, I think. Every winter, except last winter, the battery dies. And what happens when your battery dies in the winter? It freezes. It actually freezes. And then it's useless. You have to buy a new one, which is like 80 to to $100. Every winter. Except last winter, because I, I lucked out. I don't know. You might silence when you get too loud. Hold on, let me move my mic down a bit. It is a bit of an issue um, that I'm trying to figure out, but I don't know how to figure it out. So, I'll hopefully do that when I actually get a second. I have like... I literally just sat down and immediately went, Stop! Oh, say this up. <laughs> you killed me. So anyways, I used my truck, my work truck, to boost my car so I could actually like drive it around and charge the battery. Did that for about 30 minutes. Parked it. Wait! Hey, thank you for that sub. Oh, thanks, Caleb. I need to like figure out a way to um taste the penis. Yeah, I, I'm actually not really a big fan of these veggies. I don't know, they all kind of just taste, it tastes like mush a little bit. But it's healthy. <laughs> as healthy as frozen veggies can be, which is pretty healthy still, but obviously. Not as good as fresh veggies. Doug will be like, that's a good emote, huh? It's a dog, but it's, it's a dog. It like has multiple uses. It's a dog and it's a wave. So the veggies taste like baby food? I'm a bit concerned as to why I know what baby food tastes like, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Wait, has the music been cut out like this the whole time? Wait, do you guys even hear the music cut out there? Spike that! <laughs> Thanks for the one, bitch. I like my goose emote that Kayla just posted here because it's like, it's also kind of like a shocked face too, you know? Like, oh, what did Chris just say? Baby food tastes basically like that, but grosser. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I should do a um a baby food taste test on stream. I hear it. What do you hear? Um, oh, at work today, my boss gave me a really good idea. He, he commented on how long my hair is getting. And he said, um, you guys don't normally see me when my, uh, before, like, I normally take a shower, right? So my hair looks all puffy, but, like, when I was at work, it's, like, all, like, dirty, it's greasy, it's, like, flat. My boss suggested to me that I try to do this to my hair. And I think it could be a good stream idea if I figure out how to do it. Hold on. Would you guys, <laughs> would you guys be interested in the stream? Where I turned myself into Doc Brown. <laughs> Should I just... Uh, what's it called? Why is the music keep cutting out? Is the music cutting out for you guys? Chat? Um, tease your hair, I think it's called, right? You tease your hair and that's what, the, that's what it turns into? Should I do that? Should I do a stream where I just ruin my hair? I was gonna actually get my hair cut by a barber. But, like, if I could instead... I would 100% be up for just ruining it and just cutting it all off. <laughs> Dye it bright pink? Eh, I'm not really a fan of the dying thing. Everyone does that. It's, eh. Not at all. <laughs> I'm gonna the shower! Uh, I remember I was bald. I'm almost, I almost, I go bald all the time. I was bald in May. That's the last time I touched my hair. I touched, I thought it was March. But I looked into it. It was actually May where I, where I shaved off my head last, on stream. Every time I died in Mario Maker 2, I shaved my head. I shaved like a part of my head. That was the gimmick. I don't think it's cutting out, really. Maybe it's the headphones, and that's not good. Why are the headphones being poopy, poopy, poopy? Hey, dying your hair is already. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. 
was funny for a while, but I mean, I don't really have any interest. It, it, well, it's not easy to do either. I've never done it, but like everyone I, I've ever talked to that dyes their hair consistently always tells me that it's not easy to do, so. And I believe it. Like, always get a tin foil and your hands get stained, and then, like, you know, I have darker hair too, so I'd have to bleach it. Like, I'm not doing all that. If I had someone to help me, maybe. Uh, or if I had, like, an. If I. Listen, clip this, alright? When I hit 100 subs, I'm saying 100 because I realistically don't think I'm ever going to hit it. <laughs> if I hit 100 subs, I will dye my hair whatever color the chat decides, okay? How's that sound? Someone give me 100 subs. This chicken's like 5 or 6 days old, so it's kind of like gross, but. Oh well. When I just look my hair back, it adds extra inch to my height. Nice. That's what I've been doing when I get out of the shower. I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Remember, it's wet, so it actually sits. I'm gonna be able to tie it soon. I can already kind of tie it. Look at that. This is 100% the longest my hair has ever been. Can you guys see it? Blue hair. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, I, I if I make, if I can make, if I can be so. Chris, bold. you have like 30 bald spots. What are you talking about? I have a brilliant hairline, mate. It's a little like it's a little like. You know, even that's not bad. My hairline's pretty good, okay? And my hair's super thick, too. Every time I go to the barber or any, like, hairdresser at all, they're always like, wow, your hair's so thick. I'm jealous of how thick your hair is. I've heard that since I was, like, eight. And my aunt stopped cutting my hair. And also, like, my dad is, like, nearing 60, and he's just now starting to bald. If I go bald at 60, I don't give a shit at that point. You know, like, old people don't give a shit about anything. And especially, I barely care now. If I go bald, whatever. I don't really care that much, to be honest. Don't tie your hair. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I probably will. But I kind of want to get to that point to just be able to just to say I do. Wait. Are we auto-focusing? I turned that off. I thought I figured out a way to permanently turn that off. Yo, Spice, remember when we got that fuck through wall yell? That was legit the day I got my hair blue. I wasn't sure if that was a joke or not until you got to that point. Anyways, how's it going, everyone? Today, on the docket today, my plan is to go through Chris Reacts, and there's actually a decent amount of stuff here, so it's really nice to see this channel didn't immediately die. I'm still pretty convinced it's going to die pretty quickly, but that's okay. Um, I think this is, Hippo submitted a video. I think this is pretty long. Is this like 30 minutes? Oh, 10. Okay, good. I don't mind 30-minute videos if they're really good, but are they good? <laughs> How are you? This is where we start. That's four minutes. What is this? Nine seconds. That was too long. I'm going to skip it. All right. Cool. Discord crash. Outstanding. <laughs> I couldn't handle this video. This TikTok. How long was this? 18 seconds? Way too long, dude. It, fro it broke again. It froze again. <laughs> ah! Grr. My Rofil Copter goes soy 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 t r t k t k t k t k t k t k. Never really heard about that before. Uh, never heard of a helicopter making that noise before. Um, tomorrow, I also have like a cool thing I'm doing. I posted in the announcements on on Original Craft here. I made a tier list that you guys can see. This is every hourly song in Animal Crossing for the GameCube. Um, Animal Crossing City Folk. Not Wild World because it's crap. No, it, it actually has the same soundtrack as City Folk. So Animal, Animal Crossing for the GameCube, City Folk. Uh, New Leaf, New Horizons 4, which comes out to 96 songs. I'm going to be doing a tier list of every single one of these if I can figure out how to upload them. <laughs> My issue is, I tried to upload these, and it gave me an it gave me a 404 error. Pretty sure because I made the file size too big, so I gotta figure out how to do that. Um, I really hope. <sighs> TK Donkey Kong. TK Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is here. German, hey, what's up? How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the game. If you make the image 100 100. But, like, I'd have to resave all 96 files, right? There's no quick way to do that in Photoshop, or it's like, uh, control, like, control A, resize to 100 by 100. I was stupid. I just opened a 1920 by 1080p uh, blank document, and they recommend it you do square images, so I just changed it to 1080 by 1080. 
That sucks. Did you work out the issues in Oculus? Dude. <laughs> I that's a good thing to talk about too. I've gone through five texts on the Oculus tech help section. They can't help me. No matter what they try. I've been having a conversation with them since Saturday. Almost a full week as of tomorrow. I still have found enough new prizes in the OST. I'll be happy to see my opinions tomorrow. I don't really like it that much either. Comparatively, anyways. I'm so biased because our game keeps same, dude. <laughs> so, I've done everything. I've downgraded my graphics card. I've turned off I don't know how many settings. I've gone to the registry on my computer. I've reinstalled. I, I've, um... Uh, I've reinstalled this in safe no I uninstalled the safe mode I've set up developer stuff for this they they can't figure it out they don't know how this is brand new out of the box and so is the cable that connects to the PC I'm just I'm shocked they haven't given up yet and just said alright send it back we'll send you a new one it's called the road it's called the rainbow road it is the place where you go and scratch your nose. Um, have they have they messaged me since? We're gonna jump the trash reaction in a minute. Oh crap! I gotta put my email. It is the place where you go. Here we go. Okay. Um, did they send me anything new yet? I didn't get an email. Hey, they did send me something new. <laughs> All right, let's see. First, I start, I don't watch it, so it has my full name on it. First, I started off with a dude named Mark. Then Nico messaged me. Then Komala messaged me. Then Zakaria messaged me. Coculus Rift. Then Joanna Joanna messaged me. And now Oliver's messaged me. How many people did I just name? How many? That was five or six, right? I'm the one that's you. Well, Mark's all Dude, Mark hasn't helped me in a week and a half, dude. I appreciate you saying fresh logs. I have reviewed the logs. You have said it. Seems the current graphic driver you're using is the AMD R939 True. And I would like to inform you that we can't guarantee full compatibility. What? They, what? they told me my graphics card won't work. Oh my fucking god. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I could actually show this, right? There's nothing gonna leak on here. I'm, actually, I'm scared too. I'm, I'm just. Also, regarding your concerns, it seems to having issue with Steam app on your PC. I would just like to inform you that Steam and Oculus are not cross buy app. What? I don't. Huh? That's irrelevant. Um. Are you fucking kidding me? I literally can't stream VR then. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What the hell do I do now? Well, I gotta return it then. Do you guys eat chicken with a fork ever? Is this weird to do? There's one more thing I want to do before we jump into Cookie Alps. Mark Kuckerberg needs to get that coculus ripped out of his ass and fix his shitty issues. I'm so fucking mad, dude. The entire reason why I bought the Quest 2, well, one, it's cheaper. Two, I can actually, like, when I have friends over, I don't need to hook up to my PC. Three, I just like, I just like number three. Alright, I finally got my, um, uh, which email is this crap? I finally got my, uh, num, 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 my Twitch recap. And I'm excited to show this on stream. Now, how do I show this without leaking my name? So I've done multiple times. Do you think I get my money back from this shit? I sure hope so. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, snap, my eBay's been temporarily disabled. I don't even have an eBay. That's not true, I do, but I'm being lied to. Uh, your Twitch summary is ready. Wait, this is just for a stream. What? Meow, 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 meow. Hmm. Is there a way to look at this on the site? Pop, pop. Um, I don't want to leak anything. You could do it like this. 
Hold on. I just want to make sure I'm not going to leak anything. I leak things all the time, and I don't like it. It scares me. Sorry, this is a very scuffed stream, which you shouldn't expect. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, I don't see anything. I'm not looking at the numbers or anything. All right. This is good. All right. Here's my 2020. Right, let's catch up a chat first. Hmm. Coculus Rift. Yo, Jetman. I'll buy it from you for $100. You pay for shipping. <laughs> yeah, let me make negative like $300, $400 off this. Mark Cocker Berg, you can get the Coculus Rift. I'm so, I was so excited to do... Um, Oculus Rift, no nipple. What graphics card do you have? Um, an R9 390 or whatever it said. Do I have the email open still? The amount of people I ask, guys, should I get a new graphics card? I heard this from so many people. Like, no, Chris, your graphics card is great. I've had nothing but, like, I can't, like, I can't see, like, second guess when people tell me that. And I, I feel like my se my second guessing came true. Um, okay, they tell me themselves here. AMD R9 390 is what I have. I don't even know what the song is. Should test my see your GPU and C G CPU GPU. Jeez. They tell me the only email. Hmm. You're gonna get... You were gonna do that during a Soma stream, but you never did? Wait, what? What was I gonna do? Check my CPU and GPU? Well, it's holding my GPU. My CPU is in, uh... How do you see it again? <laughs> um, AMD Ryzen 5 3600X 6 core processor is my ACPU. Is an image? Can you not save it? Wait, what? Oh, it's no, it's like a big wall. It's like, here, well, I can show it right now. MD 300 graphics card unsupported by Oculus Link. Okay, yeah, I know that now, Toast. What the hell, no? That's bullshit. How? My fucking god, I'm so angry. Chris, you said you weren't very fond of chat, right? I mean, I would try it with the, I would try it with the Oculus Quest too. All right, let's let's show my um, let's show my Twitch stats. All right, chat, move. You need to leave now, okay? Relax. All right, here's here's how I cannot leak this, I guess. Here's your Twitch recap. Even 2020 can stop you from going live. We're not just saying that. You and your Twitch recap to prove it. And your fans can't think you were... Why do you guys think anymore? Think anymore! You didn't know what they wanted. In a year where no one could do anything they wanted, good on you. Full hours watched, 1,217. That's... I honestly have no idea if that's terrible or good or not. Unique viewership. 1,338? Wait, really? When you follow is 49. I've seen so many of these where it's like negative. Like, people get negatives. And honestly, that is so sad. And like, I was scared to open up this email and find out I had a negative follower record. Because I've done nothing but go down to followers as of late. And it's really sad. It's very sad. I'm not going to lie. I'm very sad about it. Uh, <laughs> kept them going. Not physically anywhere, but mentally and spiritually, they're fine. Chris, I've tried level zero. Let's go! Zero, zero, zero percent! Yeah! Total accumulated channel points. 433,710. That's a lot. Tails number one with 81,000 channel points. Dang, dude. Lol was used the most <laughs> smile. I don't like how they give the smile dude a body. I don't like the slink that keeps popping up either. Wait, what happens if I click it? Can I just look at it on Twitch? What? Oh, I tried to open up the emote on Twitch. That's weird. Meow, meow. Uh, you turned up for all of us. Thank you. Seriously. Um, who knows if you've been without you. 12 hours broadcast. 275. Rookie numbers. 220 hours of those were Animal Crossing? What? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Can someone, can someone that's not stupid and can do math, can someone figure out how, like, what percentage-wise did I stream Animal Crossing? Sorry, I was just moving some stuff around. Two, 220 out of the 275 hours I streamed were Animal Crossing. Oh my god, that is not good. <laughs> Let me on the email bet. Uh, I would be surprised, but you haven't been here that much. Chris, 
Fuck you. We don't thank you, poopy asshole. Rude. 5k. I'm 5k. Wow. I had no idea I'd stream that. Jesus Christ, man. Jump on the rooftops and put it on your fridge or share it on social. Or do not do what you want with it. Okay, that's just for another recap. <laughs> There's Kayla using all her emotes all the time. I wish I could hover over this while the link's popping up. <laughs> this is all Kayla. <laughs> Except the lol and the smile. Oh, I could have downloaded it. Damn it. Especially considering just showing all Toy Toy was worthy of celebration. I'm sure I started to read that in my head. Make sure to check out the first ever Twitch participation story. Yeah, I probably missed that. 80%. 80%? Thanks, Toast. I appreciate that. Logan, did you do that mess separately? Or or did you just like... Was that just like perfect timing? What's in the next email? Alright, I got... Yeah, you got two emails. So here's the other one. Is there anything that's going to leak on this email? Oh no. I'm scared. This one's going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm not leaking anything. Okay. I don't see anything. Just kind of breezing through. This one I'm scared of. I'm actually scared. Because this, this one tells you... How long he watched people for it. And this is going to be bad. Oh, man. Who's your Twitch recap? Uh, in fact, you deserve gold stars for showing up. Or at least email. We're here to show your 24 Twitch recap. You get hyped. You tuned in. Thank you. Because if no one's watching, this site makes zero sense. Your top watch category. Just chat. Oh, my God. Yeah, that really. Is oh, you guys can't really see this. It's very small. Oh, I can't zoom in. Nice. Careful, lad. Is that better? Just chatting. 1,095 hours. What? I just need to stream this. I barely did just chatting this year. I barely did. I've already leaked my watch. Bruh. Animal Crossing, 275 hours. Minecraft. What? Did I just stream on Minecraft? I'm streaming Minecraft, but probably not tomorrow because I'm very busy. Probably Sunday. Now, this is the thing I'm actually scared about. Vine sauce. 347 hours. That's a lot of hours. I don't really feel like I watch Vine sauce. I kind of phased out Vine sauce a little bit. I got really annoyed at him saying speen every five seconds to make it chuckle. <laughs> it also doesn't play the whole games I really care about recently. I still watch them in the background, though. My own channel, I saw it on a bunch of people's things. What, so, this happens because you want to keep your own stream up as you're streaming, right? To make sure, like, if it's buffering, if there's something weird showing up, you know? So, that's why, that's lame. I really wish they did it. And the thing, I'm actually, there are only 8,000. <laughs> I watched Ms. Kim for a thousand. I'm going to be honest. I love watching this guy. He's hilarious. But to be fair, to be fair, to be fair. I keep this on in the background. I, I'm going to say at least 50% of that time. And that's probably even being a bit conservative. Is like second monitor. Or I'm like going to bed. Because I'll, I'll put on some like while I'm going to sleep. That's still a lot, dude. <laughs> I find it really funny. Oh my god. But that's still really bad. I'm surprised. Well, actually, another one that would be on here for sure is Awesome Show. I always watch his streams. They've gotten a little bad recently. He does, um, he does like a, re he does like Twitch reality TV essentially. He does dating shows. But he only streams literally once or twice a month for like five or six hours. So, but if he's more, he'd probably be. I might replace Vine Sauce. Oh my god, that's embarrassing though. Oh. Who the fuck is a miskip? Um, he's a Nintendo streamer, but he's also mainly just chatting. Honestly, he's definitely like my main inspiration for streaming and like trying to like create content. So, on Twitch, anyways. Cool, I spelled my chicken. You turned up. With your support, your words. I've watched you for a grand total of 45 hours. 
that's pretty good. Oh, whoa, Jesus, voice guy. That's pretty good, Logan. Thanks a lot. I love, if you guys know how long you've watched me, I'd love to know. Can you either, like, tweet it at me? I don't remember if you guys can post links in chat. I think you can. If you can, I need to. If you can, I need to change it. Number of chat messages sent, 6,200. Number one is smile. I do like the smile emote. Misgive egg is not, well, I don't really use chat that much, though. Also, Misgive's chat is very, like, he encourages people to spam. So a lot of this, this isn't 197 individual messages. This is copying, pasting the same message over and over again. This is probably, maybe I probably use this maybe, like, 20 to 30 times, I would guess. Dito is his rabbit. Fraygasm. <laughs> what does that say about me? I don't know. I use Fraygasm ironically, though. Dan's game 124 times. Pretty close. I was grossed out as much as I was turned on, apparently. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if I show this side of myself on stream. Hey, guy. I, what? 130 times for hey, guys? And then the gifted stuff. These are literally all gifted. Um. I use my Twitch Prime on Mizkiff for obvious reasons. I watch that guy a lot. I'm not going to sit there and watch a thousand years of advertisements. Um. Oh. Peace and Quiet is a friend of um my streams. Sakura is a friend of well, I mean we're more, obviously me and Peace are more acquaintances too. Actually, we're probably I'd say we're better than acquaintances, but we're definitely not. I wouldn't call us friends really. I hate her. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Sakura is actually part of the Winpeg Twitch Discord, so that's gone. Doc, he's the recruitment show for the Austin show, which I'm really thinking about trying to go on. I think I could maybe go clout chase on there. Austin show, that's the that's the dating reality stuff I talk about. Josh Jepson is an OG um you, uh, Nintendo YouTuber. He also streams on Twitch. And Moon IRL, she's a RuneScape streamer. I've watched her maybe three or four times and I just got gifted and stuff. Make out your appreciation. We made you a little parade. Thanks. <laughs> I guess. Total channel points earned. 1.7 million. I gamble sometimes too, though. So this isn't like me sitting in Mizkiff's chat all day. Although, I mean, clearly a thousand hours. Clearly I did that a lot too. But I also gamble quite a bit. So um, a lot of that is gambled points. You go up like crazy quickly when the fat. We know you accomplished a lot. Dude, this scroll bar is so freaking small. Oh my god, this email sucks. I can't see anything. Wait, uh, I have an idea. I didn't think of this earlier. I can't even check, man. Why not spicy? Did you not get it? <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Here we go. This is better. My stats of how much of you I watch wouldn't be accurate because I mainly watch your VODs. Really? I only upload the VODs to YouTube. Well, thanks, Toast. Nice, it's nice to see you, by the way, Toast. Um, I know you're not, not normally here very often these days, so it's uh, nice to see you. I'll, I'm, 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 I'm. Cow's only my fourth. I'm going to change it this year. Are you going to try to make it your, your number one? I'm not big on watching streams i used to it's very time consuming man i, I feel I, I feel ya number of chat sets 6278 oh this is just a recap again okay last year when i've been the same without you or you were our favorite don't tell anyone else seriously thank you for showing up and and speaking of showing up make sure you, you show up at the first hour twitch okay yeah I, yeah i kind of missed that well that was fun chris hates you know i was kind of hoping that would be quick to be honest but it's funny <laughs> i hope you don't take that the wrong way is a friend of um called I need I need a ninth monitor man ninth monitor man wait I actually want to go on this one Peace and Quiet is a friend of um I'm trying to meet the audio Sakura is a friend of well I mean we're more obviously me and Peace are more acquaintances too actually we're probably I'd say we're better than acquaintances but we're definitely not I wouldn't call us friends My face is so serious. I'm very serious. Wait! I can't believe I watched Mizkiff for over a thousand hours. That is... I need help. I thought I was the favorite Twitch. What the F-U-C-K? <gasps> oh, you God. Lied. God, shit. I don't think that's supposed to show that part of the remote. Wait. I was trying to knock on my door. It's Twitch! You're here to ban me for leaking that I'm their favorite! Ah! Oh, 
how do you get text up on the screen? No, hold on. This streamer has been banned for being idiot. Sorry guys, I've been banned. <laughs> oh shit, it's the fuzz! And she is lol, wait what? She is what? Who's she? Who's she do she? Piece of stream right now, actually? Yeah, feel free to send it to you if you want. And then send me her reaction. Ah, piece on my phone. One person says you spell idiot wrong. What? No, I didn't. I think you just don't know how to spell idiot. Alright, time to do Chris reacts after almost an hour of doing this already. Oh, there's more here now, too. Excellent. You know, the plan was I would eat supper as I, like... Um, the plan was I was going to eat supper while I, uh, uh, while we watch a video so I could kind of, you know, get a second here to eat, but, uh, that didn't work, so that sucks to be me. When the Chris is sus, D. When the Chris is sus, D. That is pretty LOL, LOL, you know? Oh, it's a sad face. Chris, people got to kick your ass? Tell her to bring it on! I keep spitting on myself, though, so maybe she'll probably get grossed out before we get the fight, really. Kayla, you spell idiot wrong. Exactly. Kayla, can you, like, like, jeez, for learning to spell. Wait, hold on. There's a, there's a message coming in. Oh, wait. Wait. Chris, I love you and you're the best. Oh! I love you. Oh! I love you. Oh! I love you. Oh! Whoever said that, that's so sweet of you. I'm so happy I have loving and adoring fans. All right. <laughs> Fuck you, Logan. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm ahead. Oh, thanks for coming, Spice. Thank you for following. What? I got a new follower. Oh, Pete. Wait, you weren't following me, Pete? Now, Chris, now. You suck toes, smile. Now we have a real reason. <laughs> now we have a real reason to fight peace. Yeah. I hate you. Because I got gifted a sub to your channel, and that's it. So what do you think? Want to arm wrestle or something? Let's react to this video in a language I don't understand. Combat Minecraft. I'll take you down unless you just... <laughs> you think you can fight me? <laughs> I'm streaming right now later. Oh, the old streaming sees how... I was ready to fight you right now. Have a good stream. You have a good stream, too, Peace. Peace across 1v1. What would even 1v1 be interesting? Well, I'll fight you any day of the week, Peace. How about, um, how about behind Dairy Queen next weekend? You know, so when you lose, you can just, you can get ice cream and feel better. You can, like, put some ice cream on your wounds or something. <laughs> what is this video? Is it Mean Zelda video? I think that's what this is. That does look pretty cool. I get milk. I'm so lost. I'm still watching. Wait, does this make me look more like a wuss? I'm drinking milk. Chris reacts without Chris scammed. I want. I, I, uh, I saw the whole thing. This is really 720p. Dude, I hate cold food. I miss this game. This is such a good game. Jump rope. Extreme jump rope.
I just remembered I have to return my Oculus. I'm sad. Actually, never mind. Let's take a look. Hooray! I've seen this clip before. This is really cool. Wait, what? Oh, I reset. Oh, yeah, it resets the animation. That son of a bitch. The one that got away. Are you surprised they were Breath of the Wild video submissions I've gotten? Guardians are one of the coolest Zelda enemies ever. I love how intimidating they are. And but like by the end of the game you can kind of kick their asses a little bit, but they're still scary to fight a little bit, especially if you don't have like a shield ready to dot to like to reflect the laser. Like what a good idea. I honestly think it's one of the best designed enemies ever. Like, I don't know about that, but it's really it's a really cool enemy. So what is Shitty Final Boss in Breath of the Wild? Shooting star, shooting star. You ever played Toontown as a kid, Chris? No. I have not. I think we've talked about that before, haven't we? I have not. I think you were trying to get me to play it before, if I remember correctly. Oh, great. Can't wait for my computer to freeze. All of those were shitty. Oh, yeah, they were. I like the idea of the Calamities. But I wish there was more than just that. What? This guy, he tripped and fell in the back of McDonald's. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram for <laughs> That's really stupid, but I like that a lot, actually. Only because of the commentary. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why, why did Discord hate me today? The game's crashing. Oh! Wait, what? Is this real? I, I, I don't know if that's real or not. Is this real? Honestly, it's like 50-50. Alright, uh, that's so long of a video, so hold on. These are short, right? We'll go back to that one. Wait, that's two minutes. How long is this one? God damn it, Annika. Four gauge shotgun. Oh, it's twenty seconds. I think it was two minutes. <laughs> what in the redneck country is this? Looks like that would hurt a lot. <laughs> I've only shot a gun once in my life. That's why I put my own dog down. That's not true. I shot a rock when I was like five. Well, you fancy son. Well, I definitely can't upload this part to YouTube because uh, well, then again, how did this guy get this up here? Normally, Viacom is that the one SpongeBob? Normally, they're they're like super against anyone even like using a frame of sponge on their forsaken YouTube website. Squilliam Fancyson the third is Squidward's rival from high school band class. True. So I just took my private yacht across my private lake to my private heliport. He's more wealthy, popular, and talented than Squidward, and he always rubs it in his face. That's right. Well, that's cool. in your dreams, Squidward. How much this guy just have? succeeding. Wait, I didn't look. I get low subscriber count vibes from this video. Like, 
Under a thousand. Nope, I was wrong. It's 67k. <laughs> Not to say it's low quality or anything, but I, I honestly, by the way people talk in videos, sometimes like I could be like, I'll click on a video and recommend it. And I'm like, I bet this guy's a little sub count. And then I look and it's true. I don't know what that really says about me. But... <laughs> but I intend to prove that he's a fraud his wealth to make himself seem more popular and talented than he actually is. He goes to ridiculously extreme and expensive lengths to humiliate Squidward and show his superiority, and I'm gonna prove it. Spongebob is one of my favorite shows from my childhood. Even going back now and rewatching the old ones, it still holds up. You might think, it's just a kid's show, there's no continuity, there's nothing whoa, worth whoa, theorizing whoa. about, but the show constantly brings back characters and references Wait, to I miss it. Episodes theorizing about but the show constantly brings oh, back buddy. characters and references to previous episodes and if you look closely you can connect the dots and find some very interesting stories that's cool and today that. i'm going to prove i wonder how much of this is like them actually doing that like for example the snail that i almost called a squirrel for some reason um at least in my brain i call it a squ i was gonna call it a squirrel <laughs> maybe it's because of a tree like, do you think this is intentional, or do you think they just like, all right, we need a snail that isn't Gary. Let's look through a resource folder and let's use this one. You know, I wonder. I wonder. If you can connect the dots, find plenty some very of interesting stories. And today, I'm going to prove that Squilliam Fanchison the Third is a manipulative fraud. Evidence number one. I'm a manipulative fraud. We first meet Squilliam in Season 2, Episode 15, Band Geeks. The episode opens with Squidward playing the clarinet and getting a knock on the door. I'm 100% on board that everything in this video is true. Really? Interesting. Yeah, uh, we're with the pet hospital down the street, and I understand you have a dying animal on the premises. Immediately <laughs> after, Squidward gets a call from Squilliam. You've reached the house of unrecognized talent. Please start after. I wish I could just watch SpongeBob on stream. That'd be so much fun. To attend to. Hey, old chum. I believe that not only was Squilliam spying on Squidward <gasps> to know when he was playing his clarinet, but he also hired the doctor to come and embarrass Squidward. That son of a bitch! Uh, we're with the pet hospital down the street. <laughs> pet hospital down the street. We have never seen a pet hospital in Bikini Bottom. <laughs> We've only ever seen just the regular Bikini Bottom hospital. We've seen this purple doctor fish before, but once again, he's never- I've never seen Oxygen before, so I don't think it exists. ...worked at a pet hospital. We've only ever seen him at the regular general hospital. Well, Mr. Squarepants, it seems you have the son of Spider- Sorry, is this guy saying all purple fish look the same? I don't think a good conscience I continue to watch this video. Ready for your treatment? Then there's- You <laughs> reach the house of unrecognized talent. Oh, that's saying. I'm so talented, you don't even know. Hey Chris, would you be interested in playing Windcraft? It's like an RPG but Minecraft. Um Maybe? I don't know. Send me a link to it and I'll check it out later. There's this green fish behind him, and we've only ever seen him as one of the many identical paramedics who work at the Bikini Bottom Hospital. We even see him at the end of the episode to take Squilliam away after fainting. So it is very likely that Squilliam hired these two and told them to pretend like they're from a pet hospital just to humiliate Squidward. But this is just the start of Squilliam's elaborate lies. Evidence number two, the bubble bowl. In the same episode, Squilliam also says, I'm the leader of a big fancy band now, and we're supposed to play at the Bubble Bowl next week. The problem is, I'm busy next week and can't make it, so I was hoping you and your band could cover for us. But we've never seen Squilliam's band before, and despite claiming he's too busy to make it to the Bubble Bowl, he still shows up at the end to watch Squidward's band. So both his excuse and probably his band were made up to pressure Squidward into humiliating himself at the Bubble Bowl. Evidence number three, True. Squilliam's friends. In season three, episode eight, Squilliam returns, Squidward leaves for work and conveniently bumps into Squilliam and all of his fancy friends, despite Squilliam not seeming like the kind of guy that would come near the Krusty Krab. He and his friends make fun of Squidward for working as a cashier. Hold it! Don't tell me! Hold, we need to take a break. I just want to commemorate my first shot. This guy is spitting straight facts. Thank you, I know, I do pretend to, I need to celebrate my first shot of the evening. I'm drinking Smirnoff Cherry. I, I, I finally thought I could buy Cherry Diet Coke again, but I can't, or Diet Pepsi, I forget which one it is. It's been so long, we, you literally can't buy a lot of pop sodies in Canada right now because there's a tin shortage because of the Rones. Dang. 
barely felt anything. You're a cashier. <laughs> I'm always makes it worse. I so believe that this encounter was planned out by Squilliam in advance, and he hired all of those people to pretend to be his. I can't tell if this video is a joke or not. I really can. Is that bad or good? I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Take a look at what is your color? What is your opinion on the color blue? Uh, cool. Williams friends. It's all not. It's fact. Dressed. You kind of get the sense that they're fancy. More or less facts than that hitbo I posted last night. They aren't. This is more like what the fancy rich people in Bikini Bottom look like. These are just some regular Bikini Bottom citizens. Most of them usually don't even wear nice clothes like this. Oh my God! Spread the fish. Most of regulars at the Krusty Krab and would already know Squidward as a cashier. Does anyone know? Can any? Is anyone a big enough SpongeBob fan to name? Or to know which one of these characters are named, because everyone knows Fred the Fish. Although he doesn't normally wear a shirt, so that's a little bit fishy. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> but, like, I know for sure at least some of these, like, I think this girl's names, and I think this dude's name. Like, a lot of these characters actually have names. I know Fred the Fish, but that's it. Do we have any super fans on the chat? I don't think it's a joke, but I have a really hard time determining sarcasm. I, it really can go either way. Straight Patty doesn't have enough slime. <laughs> These are not. I've never heard that dude talk before. Squilliam would hang out with. I mean, why would Squilliam be hanging out with one of Pearl's teenage friends? At the end of the episode, oh, maybe it's her mom. To his whole life being fake. I made everything up. Get some black cherry coke from Safeway. Bet that'd be good. I've had that before. Um, black, actually, I don't know if I have black cherry or just regular cherry. To make the drink that I like though, which is a shot of this. No, sorry, two shots of this. Uh, over ice with a can of diet, um, diet, I think, oh, fuck, diet cherry Pepsi. And I don't, I think it was Pepsi. I don't remember. They all have names. A lot of them do. I know of all of them do, but I know a lot of the more like reoccurring ones do. About my life. I have no yachts, jets, or anything. I was well, you do have a seagull for hair. You. And then, of course, he quickly says he's just kidding. Is that true? Of course not. I'm filthy, stinking rich. <laughs> was he kidding? I mean, obviously he's rich, but is there a nugget of truth in there? Evidence number four. Have you heard the theory that Pearl is not Mr. Krabs' daughter, but call him daddy for a different reason? <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't remember. If we if we believe that the animator didn't reuse the characters the same time, that is 100% true. Mm. That's you. In season seven, episode six. Wait, do we know of any subplots in SpongeBob that were kind of hinted at, like this, for example, like the Squilliam uh, is Squilliam is uh, is a figment of the, the uh, that Squilliam is, is oh god damn it what it doesn't even say it doesn't even say I, I'm trying to I'm trying to summarize the theory in one sentence. Is there? A, do we know of any like conspiracy SpongeBob theories that actually were like, yeah, that the producers were like, actually, that's one true. Do we know fraud? Yeah, fraud. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Squidward has to pick up the trash for community service, and Squilliam once again conveniently bumps into him and reveals he's cleaned up so much trash that the city actually built a statue of him. Maybe if you clean up Bikini Bottom, they'll build a statue of you. Oh wait, they've already built one of me. Where's the where's the cringe who test the balls? Everyone in SpongeBob die in a plane crash, and the show is a living proof. Oh yes, lost in SpongeBob. We paid to get that statue built. As like the seven deadly sins. Oh yeah, wait, was that one proven, proven true? Fish admires it and says, "Bless you, Squilliam Sandwiches." But if you remember, this is one of those friends Squilliam likes. So he runs a cult then. Her whole comment feel very fake. By the end of the episode, Squilliam's statue gets destroyed. A police officer approaches and they have this exchange. They have real trash. Is your statue? It was. Squilliam admits that it's his statue, bum, bum, not bum, the city's. Bum, 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 bum. And why else would the officer give him specifically a ticket if it was city property? Damn, he, he dummy thick. Look how dummy thick that guy. Look at that! If it was Holy concert, moly! Five, the concert. In season six, episode seventeen, Squidward watches Squilliam play the clarinet so at a big fancy letter. concert. He receives a standing ovation, True. causing Squidward to leave hastily. But I believe this entire concert is a scam. Not only has the audience been True. Look at that! They didn't capitalize the eye. What? Well, that's the only letter. Like, wait, it's just the eyes. The eyes are the only letters that aren't capitalized. Hmm. And if you put them all together, you get ah. 
Hey, that's actually very interesting, and I'm, I'll have to delve more into this theory. The entire concert is a scam. Not only has the audience been paid to cheer, but Squilliam never even touches his instrument. God, I bitch slap the fuck out of, of Squilliam. We're part of Squilliam's quote unquote friends, fuck with him. but we also never actually see Squilliam play the clarinet. The episode opens right after he's finished his performance with the audience cheering, and one member of the audience says, He's such a great musician. He doesn't even have to touch an instrument to be brilliant. <laughs> Maybe the real reason Squidward leaves so angrily is because the audience cheered for Squilliam even though he never even touched his clarinet. Maybe Squilliam is just as bad as Squidward at the clarinet and he's trying to hide it. Squilliam has gone to some pretty extreme lengths just to humiliate Squidward. But nothing, and I mean nothing, compares to what he does next. Evidence number six, the music call. In the same episode, after Squidward leaves the concert, he's approached by the headmistress of the Bikini Bottom prestigious <laughs> music college. On to the esteemed Squilliam Fancyson the Third, who we all came here to see perform tonight. She mistakes him for Squilliam and offers him a position as a professor. Squidward pretends to be Squilliam and teaches a class, only for the police to burst in and arrest him, all while he's being filmed on live TV. And I believe that this is Squilliam's most elaborate and most expensive scheme to destroy Squidward both publicly and legally. They capitalize the ice so it's easier for kids to tell if it's I can look this out. Ooh, true. But listen closely to their exchange. I'm bald! Squilliam, fancy son. <laughs> But didn't you just say a minute ago that your name was Squidward Q Tentacle? It is. No, I mean, uh, no, no, I didn't. Well, that's a relief. I mean, what kind of a moron would go to their worst enemy's music <laughs> recital? What kind of moron would go to their own enemy's music recital? <laughs> it's so dramatic and serious. And William are enemies. If I... she knew who Squidward was, then why didn't she recognize him? <laughs> why would she mistake him for Squilliam? This feels way too much like she was hired by Squilliam to set a trap for Squidward. Oh and if that's God. not enough, the headmistress's associate is literally just a guy from the paid audience wearing a disguise. He just threw on some glasses to seem smart. Squidward Whoa! That Squidward couldn't resist the opportunity to teach a music class, even if it meant breaking the law. My very own music class. <laughs> then we get to the bottom of prestigious music college, and right off I like how he's gonna see our info. Very fishy about this place. <laughs> this is my favorite thing about this so far. The building itself is very green and grimy. Mm -hmm. It has a very cheap metal look. Nothing about this says prestigious, except for the big sign on top, which feels like the only new thing about this building. I think there's the a very good chance that Squilliam just bought some old warehouse and stuck a sign and some paint on it to disguise it as a college. Yeah, I mean, look at these other job. schools in Bikini Bottom. They all have a very nice structure and a paint job, but this prestigious music like castle, college looks like a dumpster. Not a good place to teach Going school. into the classroom, not only does it have another one of Squilliam's friends, but if this is such a prestigious college, how did SpongeBob and Patrick get in here? Would you two numbskulls mind Whoa. telling me what you're doing in music class anyway? Sure. Patrick's New Year's resolution was to learn to play an instrument. This man's not numbskull, it's Billy. It says it right there. Why, why, why would you get that wrong? Instrument. They say it was their New Year's resolution to take a music class, but you'd think it'd be harder for them to get into an esteemed music school if they just decided to go to it on a whim. Seems like they're just letting in anyone to sell this ruse. Then, both the police, Squilliam and the headmistress, and a live news broadcast show up at the same time to arrest Squidward for impersonating Squilliam. If the extremely coincidental fact that all of these people suddenly showed up at the same time isn't enough for you to believe that Squilliam set it all up, I've got something that's going to blow your mind. Squilliam literally has the police working for him. <laughs> Squidward Q Tentacle. the same guy! This one's fatter! This one's bean shaped! This one's fat. Trust me, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen a, I've seen a bit of fat in my days. Okay, I've seen a bit of fat in my days. I know the difference. Okay, between fat and bean. This dude's a bean. This guy's a fat. Literally has the police working for him. Are there any other? His lips are like light purple at best. These ones are dark purple. This one has a more rounded head. This one has a more pointy head. Huh? This the only thing I've learned from this video is this dude's racist against fish. Oh, green fish must be the same. So you realize playing Toontown rewritten and or Windcraft with Toad? Okay. We'll we'll fig we'll figure it out. How come that didn't wait, no, I thought I was gonna play on TPS. But yeah, that doesn't happen. Back donut man.
You saying people can't lose weight? Uh, 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 no. Hello. Here's what happens: you lose the weight, and then you immediately gain it back by binging because you're so excited to be off your diet. Squidward Q tentacles, I'm placing you under arrest for impersonating a genius. If that doesn't sound like he's paid off, I don't know what does. The lengths that Squilliam goes to humiliate Squidward are insane. He literally builds statues and entire buildings just to make Squidward feel inferior. But why? Why would anyone go so far to embarrass an old high school band classmate? What happened between them? What could have caused this extreme level of dedication? Well, unfortunately, we never really get much information on their past. I've spent hours reading through the SpongeBob Wikipedia and looking at old episodes. And <laughs> <laughs> the way you said that, uh, it reminds me of this. It reminds me of this dude. <laughs> I've spent hours going through the wiki, trying to figure out. It's just this dude. <laughs> there really just isn't any clues that would explain their weird relationship. I guess we can't solve everything, but either way, that's my theory. Thank you so much for listening. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Wait a second. Wait. Wait a second. Wait. Season 6, Episode 5, Slide Whistle Stooges. Just what? a normal episode where SpongeBob and Patrick annoy Squidward. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Except I have one question about this episode. I've never seen this episode. Why does Squidward have Squilliam's robe? That is clearly not the purple robe he usually wears. <laughs> that is Squilliam Fancy Sun the Third's uh, robe. Why uh, does Squidward have this? Yeah, uh, it's Sun Bleach! He looked Unless out the sun. They were more than just classmates. They have once been dating? No way. What? That's not possible. There, there's no evidence to support that. Right? Don't be intimidated, Squidward. Try to imagine him in his underwear. <laughs> no, he can't be. I mean, what kind of a moron would go to their worst enemy's music recital? Why, what? This whole time. Our sources last saw evil harassing teenagers up at the makeout reef. Ah, makeout reef. Good time. Good time. I can do it with anyone. Come on, yo. Holy shit! All right, that last minute was actually really good. I, I can't even deny that. That was really good. Skin theory. That's a long. I'm not watching this unless someone posts in the Twitch reaction. This is an hour long. What the? Thanks, Andy. Cream sure is lovely. What is this? One day I was watching Spongebob, I know something bizarre. This thing was so bizarre that I decided to spend many months analyzing every single Spongebob Squarepants in search of answers. When I ended, what I ended up finding was completely original and possibly well supported conspiracy theory. <laughs> this has two and a half million views! If Hear Me Out was a video, this man could easily learn me to become a member of a pyramid scheme. This actually sounds like it'd be really good to watch. I, I'm not gonna watch this now, but should I watch this at some point? Yes, yeah, there's a love of this enemy. Enemy? Or lover? Fuck Squilliam, oh my hey Hermes hate Squilliam. <laughs> uh man, this guy's crazier than me. He learned his lessons from the Pope. I don't know what that means. New SpongeBob theory coming soon. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is What a good episode. I love that episode. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. But wait! Oh, the last second of his video didn't reveal any information. Anyway, SpongeBob is a TV show that people watch. Hmm, that's a pretty good theory. My players have requested you take this video down immediately by Squilliam himself. Hmm, interesting. Hold on. How, do, you like, do you guys like reading YouTube comments? Uh-oh. Man, the amount of time it takes for you to, like, scroll out. And I'm going to scroll right now. And it took, like, a full second. Oh, man. Oh, it's still going. All right. 
Did you guys read comments? Anyway, I'm gonna go head off. See ya, see ya, hippo. Thanks for coming and watching. That was that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this a lot. Um, and there are classmates. Oh my god, they're part of classmates. Why would anyone go so far to embarrass all high school memories? Well, there was this one time at band camp. Wow, I'm glad I didn't read the comments first because this really kind of spoils the ending, huh? Also, know how spilling paintings don't have unibrows on them. Good nerd fan art. I want to mention about the statue doesn't have a unibrow. Yeah, I noticed that too. What's up with that? I read the comments probably at 60% of the time. I always read comments. Always. Probably like 95% of the time at least. I love reading the comments. I at least read the top comments to see, you know, what's what's the what funny L meme or cool insightful thing people are saying. I also write my own comments. I really like trying to trying to get likes. It's it's kinda it's kinda like a fun game to me to try and like figure out a way to post something that people will like enough to 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 like it and then get top comment. I've gotten I've <laughs> I've gotten, I've gotten like multiple thousand, like I've gotten multiple thousand. My, my most highest liked comment has like five k likes, I think, and it was on a really sad video about uh, being introverted, where I made a comment about the saddest, <laughs> this the worst thing about being an introvert is when you finally decide to speak up and then people pretend to don't hear, that, that, or then people pretend they didn't hear you. That was my comment. And now, and I got like, I think like between five and like 8,000 likes or something crazy like that. That was a couple of years ago, or a year ago, maybe. I don't know. I live to see you. See you, Logan. I read the comments, but I'll read that now. All right. Well, what we've learned here is people come for the just chatting, and then it seems like, all right, guys, time to review horror games. Like, all right, gotta go. <laughs> uh, Squillium, Overt, Grandolds, Narcissus, Squid, Squidward, Vulnerable Narcissus. Ever since. That confession Squillium made, his whole intent has been real shady. That's true, you know. There's so much. It's like almost like a stereotype. No, people will say something that's very truthful, and then when they go, "Really, do it?" No, but they actually did just pour their heart out. They're just they just don't want to admit that that's true. I've even done that sometimes, where I'll say something I'm actually thinking in my head and actually feel, and then people go, and when people go, "Wait, really?" You go, "No," because it's like too awkward to face the truth. I never liked Squillium, so this theory makes perfect sense. Fun fact, the Dr. Fish kind of resembles a real-life species of bluish-purple root fish, actually called the Dr. Fish. Well, that's just cool. Also, Stephen Hillenberg was actually, like, a, a fishologist, or whatever the hell that's actually called. <laughs> marine biologist? I think it was a marine biologist. So, like, that, like that's not really surprising, because, like, he probably would know his shit. Although, isn't nurse sharks or something like that? I'm surprised he didn't make, like, a, you know, nurse shark. Most likes come on YouTube that I know I've got 5.7k likes. Yeah, it, it's really fun. Like it's honestly super fun. I I was I was trying to like make a point. Like okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna come on every YouTube video I watch and like try to get top comments. Like 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 pull a Justin Y essentially. But that that uh, that sucked. But like that's the short time I was actually trying that. It, it was actually going pretty well. Like I would pretty consistently write a comment. Sometimes I get literally zero likes. Also, pro tip: if you want to like just try to boost your uh, um, your your uh, your ego as well, like your own comments on YouTube. For whatever reason, it like it puts you ahead of everybody when you like your own comment. It's just like a little, just a little extra boost, and it's enough to like normally get people to start dogpiling. So you just like your own comment, and then uh, you pray, and then Jesus comes and gives you likes. That's how that works. Hello? All right, everybody. It is time for the main event. That people are leaving for. Why? Why? Stay. Come on. Don't you all watch play stupid horror games? Tonight was hopefully going to be the night where I streamed VR horror games. But guess what? That's not going to happen. Because this... Goddamn machine that I bought for the specific purpose of streaming won't work with my graphics card. What do I even do now? Do I buy a new graphics card? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Do I buy a new graphics card? 
Toast is leaving too. <laughs> I gotta go, Sally. See you, Toast. Thanks for coming. I'm very sad that I can't, literally can't stream. I like. I think I buy a new graphics card, right? Like this thing. I've had this thing for four years at this point. Maybe three years. Sell it and get a two. I can't. A 2000 series RTX. I don't even know what that is. I don't know any. Like, I'm so bad with hardware. I don't know anything about that shit, my dude. Uh, this is maybe a stupid question. Who makes this? Because I have, like, AMD stuff, right? So I can't. I can't. Like, I know some things are incompatible, correct? <laughs> GeForce RTX series. Will that, will that work with, like, an AMD system? I remember dip pop. Wow, literally everyone's leaving. That's sad. That sucks. <laughs> Thanks for coming, though. I appreciate it regardless. Wait, would you stay if I did this? Huh? Oh, no. I literally feel this, like, moving around. Like, the, the hill doesn't... That sucks, dude. I broke my sword when I smashed my TV. I don't know if... I don't know how many of you know that. <laughs> oh, I just hit my, my, uh, whatever the heck desk you have under a TV, and I just, it, it made a mark on it. I'm so tired. Watching James for more than an hour makes me exhausted. I feel you, dude. Mm -mm. So, I guess now we're going to jump right on, oh, wait, what? I guess now we're gonna jump right on it. Let's just jump right into the news. Get a 2070 or something. I'm so bad about this, man. Like, why wouldn't this work? I. We got another post. Spicy post something. I'll, I'll look at this next time. Spicy. We'll, we'll leave this. I like. Probably might not happen tomorrow. We'll see how much gets posted in there. Cause like I said, I'm I gotta be some. I start the stream at 12:30, and then I have to be somewhere for 3:30. So in other words, I'm. I like I could stream to like 2:30 to 3 p.m. at the very latest, and I'm probably gonna be earlier than that. So I might be a pretty short stream. Maybe I'll do a bonus stream tomorrow. I don't know. I might talk late, talk back later if you're still streaming. That's cool. Thanks for coming, Milky. I, I really appreciate it. I'm really happy that you guys have been like apparently really liking. Like I I peaked at I think like 13 viewers or something like that during all that which is very good so i mean that's that's very 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 nice to see they say breaking that 10 viewer threshold is like you know one of the hardest steps to do so if i could consistently do that for the just chatting stuff then maybe uh hey maybe we maybe we still have a little bit of a shot here to, to actually have a maybe just a tiny bit of su successful uh stream for the first time <laughs> since like i started streaming newly that would be nice to get some viewers back again um yeah we're gonna do some horror games now wait i'm gonna set the mood though I'm just wait, can you guys hear the beep boop when I mute this mic? It's still too bright, huh? Let's use this light instead. I might have been, like, drunk at all. I can I can't already tell. <sighs> Toast message me. I don't want to open that right now, though, because if I do, then I'll forget to reply to it. Wait, what did Logan post? That's pretty funny. <laughs> Why is a pedo bear? This is a picture, huh? You probably can't see that very well. 
the pedal bear. Pedal bear me, better bear me. Let's do something I've never done before for the first time in the universe. Just chatting. Right to wait, how's this organized? Viewers, high to low. How low can't you go? Let's go see what the streamers with one view are doing. Holy shit, there's so many popular streamers. Oh my god, I've been holding down forever. And look, they're still at, we're still at 100 plus views. Jesus Christ. Now how am I going to become world famous? Oh my god. There's so many. I need better internet. I have like some of the best internet in my country and like it's still shit. Ugh. Platui. I just, it's, wait. Oh no, it's just not loading. Meow, 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 meow. I wish there was a way to short from lowest to highest. Oh, there's so many people. Cheeky little pog champ. Did you guys see that one? PewDiePie stream. He has 45 views. Jeez, man. I can't believe how long I'm going to scroll for. I wish there was a way to short sort by lowest. That should be a way, you know? Hey, someone's streaming One Piece. In Spanish. Come on, hit me with some one viewer streamers. Zero viewer streamers. I wonder what this guy likes. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. I just... Hey, you're doing a drinking stream too. She's wearing fishnets. She intimidates me. Meow, 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 meow. Is this friends? What is this? Is this discount friends? I, I can't believe how long this has taken. I just want to get some... Ow, I my I just want to hit some zero to one viewer streamers. All right, I'm losing viewers by the minute. Let's, let's, uh, I'm bailing. Bailing! All right, so... Thank God. I, um... I keep, like, a backlog of a lot of horror games for me to play. Uh, because, 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 because. Uh, demos. Because, like I said, I, I pretty much, the instant I sat down is when I hit start streaming. So, I had, like, no time, essentially, at all tonight. But thank God, I keep, I keep like, a massive backlog of games. Like, look at this crap. Look at this. And I also have a 2B downloaded. This is all games I, I still can, like, download. Uh oh Oh, I gotta look at this. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Alright, things are going good. I just checked the DMs. It's fine. I checked the DMV. It's fine. It's time to take my third shot, and then we'll jump into a game. Guys, I have 15 subscribers. That's actually pretty pog champ, but I couldn't say so for myself. Are you still here, Kayla? Thank you for gifting so many subs recently. It is actually like, incredible, and I don't understand where you're getting your money from, but uh, thank you very much. I really wish I knew how to um, open my throat. I gotta stop burping. That's gross. I really so like people always say, "Oh, you just take a shot. You just open your throat." I can't do that. How do you do that? P pog champ. If I do say more silent. Did I say P pog champ? <laughs> Sounds like something I would say. What would you cheer? How to open throat. 
to chug beer. All right, that works. Stop sucking. This dude looks like he definitely knows how to chug stuff, huh? How to chug a beer, the trick. Let's see. I really want to know what the secret is. How to burp? What? Aaron Marlin here with the trick to how to chug a beer. Try taking it slow. Why is it so slow? A small amount of water. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is open your mouth as wide as you can, and you're going to try and gulp in one big gulp. So take an amount of water that you can get in one gulp and chug it down. That then sounds like I'm going to die. So you can get bigger and bigger amounts in one gulp. Because the trick to getting a... Am I crazy? Or does this kind of look like MML a little bit? Just a little bit. Maybe it's the shirt. MML wears these kind of shirts. Beer in one take. Why does this guy remind you of MML for? Try like... Is there a way? I don't. There's no way I could Google MML and find pictures of him. Is there? Why? What? Like this doesn't look like him. It do, It really doesn't. But for some reason, this is this is not a very clear photo. Also, you can't even really see it all. For some reason, do they have kind of similar faces, don't they? Am I crazy? What? Let's go how to open throat. Look at my interesting results. Mm. Mm, that appears to be the only picture Matt has ever posted on the internet. It's definitely not true. That's the only one I can find from just doing a quick Google search. So I'm going to just give up from there on. <gasps> one thing we need to watch, actually. I haven't watched this yet. Wait, yeah, Matt's face. I, I want to watch Matt's face. Matt made a video talking about SpongeBob. And the target audience of SpongeBob. It's like a 30 minute video. We should watch that. Maybe we'll do that next time. Maybe a little crazy. You think so? I, I get that all the time. There's so many times where like I've asked somebody, hey, that person looks like that person. I'm like, what? No, they don't. Not at all. So like I I don't know if <laughs> it's like that could very well be true. I don't know, man. Just something. It's the facial structure, baby. But this dude has a double chin, and Matt's beautiful. Matt has a beautiful single chin, so. Chris, what is your pair of the color blue? I love the color blue. What is the color? What is the what is your favorite color blue? I got mad stacks of cash, but I save it. Um, I like to save my money too. I talked to someone yesterday about like, uh, I met someone yesterday and they were telling me all about like investing. And man, I really got I really got to start investing like yesterday. Uh, I'm just googling how to open throwing emerges and maybe a little crazy. MLM, MML, but close enough. Looks like the guy going through hard times. Oh, oh. <laughs> or MML. Or MM. Your throat is open the entire time. And you're instead of swallowing and swallowing and swallowing each time, like you would here, you're doing one swallow so that your throat is open the entire time. So hold on. Time. It's not just like you have like a track open. You go, it's like you put it in your mouth and then you swallow. And it's just going straight down. This will lead you to end up burping. You'll be fine. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Start with small. Burping, maybe vomiting, maybe blood will be involved. Maybe you'll be dead within a few minutes. Amounts of water, then work with sparkling water. And then if you're old enough, work up to beer. Do this like this. <laughs> It'll make your eyes bubble. Why is this mustache coming back, man? I hate this shit. Why is the mustache coming back? Be gone, mustache. I hate mustache. It looks horrible. Until very recently at my work, because my work... I can't... I don't want to say too much to give away where I work, since I don't like to talk about specifics with my my personal life. At least, like, things that can be used to, like, figure out who I am, or, like, where I, you know, where I work, where I live, etc. But my... The person that literally created um the place or the, the company that my work is, like, he's still alive, and he's still, like, the head of the company, right? My company's not that old. It's... It's, like... I think it's, like, 50 years old, something like that. But their their policy on facial hair at my work until very recently, up until like a year ago or so, was you're only allowed to have mustaches and you're not allowed to wear any headwear inside. Like just pure boomer shit, right? And like the only facial I get at my work is mustaches. 
And, like, there's so many times where people would walk in, like, at my work, and they would have the stupid mustache. That's all I could have. And they're, they're so bad, man. And official, as of, like, a couple years ago, they officially changed the rules where you're allowed. So, it's so stupid. You're allowed to have facial hair, but you can't have stubble. So, in other words, the only way you're allowed to grow facial hair is if you go on vacation, and then you, like, go on vacation for two weeks, and you come back, and you have, like, you know, some decent growth. Isn't that ridiculous? But, like, no one really follows that. And, like, at that point, it's like, oh, you could, you could work with facial. You just have stubble. Like, at that point, it's just, like, everyone just doesn't give a shit. And then just, you know. But, like, is that right? Like, up until a couple years ago, you're only allowed to have, like, the old school mustache. You can't wear a hat if you buy it. Isn't that stupid? That's so dumb. Like, what, like what's this boomer shit, man? That's so dumb. I can't believe we live in a world still where it's, like, mustaches are seen, seen as professional. Tattoos are seen as unprofessional. There's some tattoos I can see, like you know, maybe you have a giant boob on your wrist or something. Maybe you know you shouldn't get hired. <laughs> but like, just there's 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 some yeah, I don't know, man. It's just weird. I, well, I, I mean, I don't. I, if you have a boob tattoo on yourself, maybe you put it somewhere where it's not visible at all times. You know, I don't want to like you know, knock knock that. For people that do have boobs, because I'm sure all my chat has boob tattoos on their wrists, right? Uh, I think I know how to do this. I know how to make myself purposely burp. Uh. Same dude. Um, I only figured out how to do that kind of within the past few years, though. I couldn't do that for like my childhood. Everyone in my class could burp like that on command, but yeah, you gotta like, like swallow air, which is weird, and that's how I was always told to do it. But it's it's. Oh, that that didn't sound good. Yeah, this is gross. I'm gonna stop now. But it's like. You, like, force air down your stomach. It's it's weird. Um, I tried to jug some water the other day, and it felt like my esophagus was going to explode. Yeah, I mean, your stomach's always so big. I don't understand how people, like, chug. Like, there's videos online of people chugging, like, entire bottles like this. And I don't understand how, one, they don't die of alcohol poisoning. And, two, like, how is your stomach even, like, how does your stomach have that much liquid? Does it immediately just send it through? Because I know, I know liquid doesn't sit in your stomach for too long before it gets passed through, right? Because, I mean, there's not that much to dissolve. Uh, mustaches are tough. I don't like them, man. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever looked at, like, any guy that had a mustache, or anyone, and thought, wow, that looks real good on you. And I don't know if that's just, like, a personal thing, or what, but, uh... I've never seen a mustache that looks good on someone, I don't think. Can you guys... Maybe, like, Salvador Dali? Did I say that name right? How do I even spell that? Salvador Dali. I feel like we'll say the Dali for a while. Like, this shit's cool. This shit's pretty cool. That you can't see right now. It's just so, like... It goes from being, like, ironically stupid to, like, being kind of cool again, you know? It's so over the top that I kind of like it again. Also, how... I don't understand how this is even possible. Wait, What? Oh, yeah, he's an artist, duh. I, I don't know what I thought he was for a second, but I thought he was an artist. <laughs> I, picture him, I picture him as, like, a circus performer or something for some reason. But no. Oh, before he grew up the mustache. When did he die? 89. How old was he? He wasn't even that old. He's 88, 84, 85. That's actually, that's, that's decent. Decent, decent. Uh... Wow, he died six years before I was born. That's actually kind of crazy. I always pictured him as, like, someone from the distant past, but no. Professional looks better with stubble. I, I like stubble. Only if it's a magnum pie? What the hell is a magnum pie? Googling. Magnum P.I. I don't really get what that means. Is it like cop mustaches? Is that what this is supposed to be? I don't I don't get how this is any different from like a regular mustache. That just looks like stairs. I'm scared to scroll down. I hate scrolling down Google images because you never know what you're gonna see. I'm a man. I'm sorry guys. It's time to go. Correction, I look better with stubble. I still can't roll my tongue. Some people are just born without that trait, so you might not ever be able to do that. Unless you can teach yourself how. I wonder if that's something you can teach yourself. I 
I can't believe you that all when boomers shake my hand. Uh, well, all those boomers are gone now thanks to Rona, as it's called the Boomer Mover, which is uh, very not good to call that, that but I mean, it's kind of true though at the same time, you know, <laughs> as bad as it is. Um, that's so really sad though. I'm like, I'm still pretty scared, but both my, my, my dad doesn't care anymore. He was, both, actually, my mom is a big conspiracy theorist, which is so bad. But her, she actually cared about the coronavirus at first. And now she doesn't care anymore. She's like, oh, it's a big virus, crazy by the, the deep, whatever the hell, you know, the, you know the words. And then my dad was the same way. My dad was, well, actually, my dad was a little skeptical to begin with. But like, now my dad's like, I don't care. It's like, dad. My parents were 60 and they're like diabetic and they have heart problems and stuff. I'm like, no, <laughs> that's really scary. Thankfully, my city is still only averaging 100 to 200 cases per day. So it's not going fucking insane like it is everywhere else. Thank God. So, and also like only like 20 to 30, actually more. I think it's like 20 to 50 of those are in my city per day. And now that we're starting to get vaccines, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. Cause like, those numbers are only kind they're they were trending up for a while and now we have really crazy restrictions you literally can't go out i can't go out and buy a get well card <laughs> in a store right now you're only allowed to buy essentials which is like food um you go get a massage which is kind of funny to me uh but like you go to walmart and like happy aisles are like they're like they're tapered off because you're not allowed to go in there to buy like things that aren't essential which sucks because there's so many like content things I want to do, but like like teasing my hair for example, turn myself into a dog brown. Like do I need like a, a hair curler for that or something, right? I don't think so. Dude, that's gonna suck. All right, tomorrow I'm going on a date. I know, be impressed for me. And like if I do the if I do the dog brown thing where I fuck up my hair and tease it and then shave it all off, I'm gonna be bald and I'm ugly. Bald. <laughs> <Good one. laughs> I still can't roll my tongue. Uh, roll your tongue is genetic. If you can't do it, you'll never do it. Really? Are you sure? Like, I've heard that, but like, you can teach yourself to do a lot of things. Can you teach? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just want to show you guys this. Oh, you can't even see. Wait, what? I was gonna, I was gonna search up. Can you, um, can you feel the love tonight? Can, can you, can you teach yourself to roll your tongue? Cool, your tongue. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> yes, you can roll your arms. Assuming your tongue is reasonably normal. Without know, all of you that don't have. All those that can't roll their R's are not normal. You will learn to roll your R's. Even among nor uh, native speakers, the rolled R is typically mass mastered later than any other sound. Cool. So, yeah, you can. I, that's what I figured. You know, I, I know it's like a genetic thing. Like, obviously, you get, like, it's easier if you have the genetics to do it. But I'm not surprised that you could teach yourself to do that. Let me stream for an hour and a half of just me chilling out, relaxing, maxing out, cool, shooting some b-ball at the school. Okay, cool. You're right, you don't get it. Shake my head. Oh my I'll get wrecked boomers. Can't worry about getting it now getting it now than ever. Like we're so close to getting the vaccine, we're almost through. I mean kind of. My city is projected to be seventy percent vaccinated by the end of twenty twenty one. So like that kinda sucks. But like, you know, we tried opening already because our case count was so low. Our case count was like at some point, we were getting zero cases per day. We got, I'm pretty sure we had zero cases per day in my entire province, which is pretty fucking massive. Let me show you. And it's full of all meow. Meow, 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 meow. Uh, here we go. Yeah, it's going through maps. That makes sense. Like, this, like, my province is pretty fucking big. Like, compared to the states, we're like half the states pretty much. And we were.
were only getting we at one point we had like zero cases for two straight weeks it was beautiful it was long and then they're like all right we'll be a coronavirus open everything up and then now we're getting like hundreds a day it sucks <laughs> Also, to be fair, probably 90% 90% of our population lives in this one city, Winnipeg. So, there's also that. Also, I mean, you can literally see, like, the kind of bigger... Brandon, that only has, like, maybe 10,000 people. Actually, more than that, I think, like, 50,000 people. Portage, Dauphin, this is the area for... I still live, like, right in this area. Right between these two little mountain sections here. I used to live right here. It's pretty cool. Look north, you see mountains. Look south, you see mountains. It's really neat. Um, this is probably like one of our bigger cities too. Dolphin, Manitoba. Like even that's pretty small. All right, I'm, I'm done leaking my stuff now. I'm trying to teach me for years now, so kind of yeah. But are you actually trying to learn how to do it spicy, or is someone like, hey, let me show you to roll your R's, and then they try for five minutes, and you try for five minutes, and then you both give up. So that's what I'm guessing it is, right? Like I'm saying, like. I think if you actually want to learn to roll your R's, if you like actually committed to trying to do it for like an hour a day, for like two weeks or something like that, you could probably figure it out. Ten percent of mental population has density of less than one person to risk. Of it. I know. <laughs> we all pretty much live in Winnipeg, and that's pretty much it. All right, it's time after all these years to be on a shot. Once Corona is over, I really want to do stuff like I would love to like ho like do streams where we're doing stupid shit like um uh like like uh 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 uh, uh, uh I haven't really thought I was gonna say like playing board games and stuff but that'd be kind of a boring stream huh it's just like play board games in person where you can't really see what the hell's going on I was like oh put a table right here like bring my dining room table in here and then we like play like monopoly or something but no that'd be terrible that but like i would love to like have other people in my stream and do stupid shit with i don't know what that stupid shit would be but like i would love to do dumb stuff chuck 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 okay i want a speech therapy for a while really meow 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 meow, meow. i'm gonna pee one second